My name is Chris Haskell, and I'm a reporter for Real News Tucson. Howdy, folks. Today I'm doing a very important story. And my story today is about the importance of smart meters. And uh, a lot of you might have no clue. What's well, a smart meter? What, why do I should be worried about smart meter? Well, let me tell you what happened here in Tucson. This has happened all over the place. They've done it in a few starting cities, and then they changed it to, uh, you know, uh, once they knew what to do. What they basically are doing is coming through like ninjas in the middle of the night, and companies like TEP are part of this, and they want to come in, and they want to put a smart meter on your house. And we say, well, what? So what? what? You know, what? what's the harm of a smart meter? Well, yeah, you can talk to some people, and they're going to say, oh, it's nothing. It's just like Wi-Fi. It's just like your phone. Well, it's already been proven your phone will cause you things like tumors, cancer, you know, <laughs> hey, no problem, things like that. That's uh, the reason I don't really keep the phone on me, especially. And uh, when I ever talk on it, I'm I'm talking on the on the phone on speaker. So ask my friends, it's always on speaker. So the idea is, is yeah, they've already proven. Do your educate yourself. Okay, you want to know why you don't want a smart meter in your house? Educate yourself. Okay, not only is it the end of the of the smart grid of the surveillance state of telling you what you can have and what what to do and they're going to know everything about you when you take a shower they're going to know when you're in your house and when you're not in your house when you use your oven when you use what you grab out of your refrigerator they're actually going to know this because the smart meter broadcasts a signal all day long bam bam it's a radio station at your own house telling them what you're doing so that they can know everything about you and the reality is smart meters are not good for your health at all let me tell you what I tell my friends, okay? There are people out there that the day they put a smart meter on their home, they can't sleep anymore. They can't get a good night's sleep, okay? These apartment complexes, take a look. And around Tucson, I've been looking. And they've been swapping them. They've been swapping them, changing them out. They don't tell you. They don't, oh, yeah, it's just a new meter. Yeah, it's great. Oh, you can get savings. You'll get savings. Well, it's the final grid of the smart grid to, to surveil you because in 2016 and above, the, all the appliances are supposed to have microphones on them so they can hear what you're saying, cameras on them so they can see what product you're grabbing out of your refrigerator. Oh, don't you worry. You know, don't go be naked to your fridge, that's all. So anyway, here's my story. I'm talking about smart meters, okay? Tucson Electric Power. This is the city of Tucson, born and raised right here. Okay, they came. I had already been warning people. I am an activist about many things. I had been warning people in a huge way about the TEP meters. And I said, opt out, okay? I warned close to a half a million people about them. Well, you know, so not that many people took the message seriously, but anyway, the idea was they came and they changed the meters out. Here is your old meter. And here is a smart meter. Difference? Yeah, digital ones. Generally speaking, they did make one digital one in the past, but if you've got a digital one, it's a smart meter in most cases, okay? And they take the, the manual ones out, and they don't say, hey, yeah, we're coming to put your meter in. Oh, great. That's wonderful. Okay? Except you don't want it. Because right after it happened to us, right after I came home one day, oh, my God, they had put a freaking smart meter on my house. Take a look at the sign. I'm going to show you the sign that I put up there. Buy my meter. They shouldn't. Generally speaking, they don't need to come in our yard to read the meter. Okay? They come here. And they read the meter. All right, you got it? They use binoculars. They're in the alley, because I'm holding this in the alley right now. Okay? So they don't need to come in the yard, but they had the balls to come here with this sign. And 
and they put on a smart meeting. Okay. Good thing. Seriously a good thing I was not here. It wouldn't have happened. So, long story short, I called them. I was trying to be polite and nice. And uh, they said they really can't help me. Uh, the only thing they can help, anyone can help me, is you, I got to write a letter. And they gave me the name of the person to write to. And it was a coordinator for Tucson Electric Power. Well, I wrote them a letter. It turned out to be like a five or nine page. Yeah, I think it was a nine page. Yeah, nine page letter. And I told them that I can't believe they had the gall to come here, enter our property with the sign like that, and replace this, uh, our nice meter with some evil, evilness. And so they can know everything. It doesn't even matter. Just, I said, why'd you do it? I need it gone. Um, and then right afterward, my dad gets, gets a sciatic nerve reaction where we had to take him to the hospital, okay? I don't have no proof of where it came from, all right? But finally, he's believing some of the things that I tell him, and he wanted this meter gone. So we wrote a letter, and we wrote it to the right person, and we heard nothing. Do, 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 do. At time went on. I was getting a little frustrated. Three weeks went by. A month went by. A month and a half. Almost two months went by. We didn't hear nothing. Zero. Nothing. Okay? And then, get a knock at the door. Here's a guy from TEP saying, I'm just here to switch your meter out. So, folks, they came. They switched our meter back. Here's our new one. That's our new one. Our new one looks like our old one did. And I like that. And guess what? Uh, the bill didn't change. They did not charge us one dollar to come swap it out. And they have not charged uh, a fee, monthly fee. And I did put that in the letter. I said, you know, I understand you might not have one of those meters right now. So I can wait till next week when you take off another thousand of them from the Tucson citizens the residents of Tucson. It's no problem. I'd rather have one of those. Thank you. And they came and they put it back on. The same kind. So I just wanted to end this with it can be really positive, but you don't need a smart meter in your house. Okay? They already charged you in the past to come read your meter. Did they give you a discount because you took the smart meter? Did you get a big discount so they don't have to come and read it? No, you didn't. Okay? You didn't. So don't worry about telling them Take it off. Get it out of there. Have a good day. Chris Haskell, Real News Tucson, and I wanted to share that with the public. Thank you.